Anna. I posted this wreath on Facebook the other day and you loved it. So I'm going to remind you how we make our basic geo mesh wreaths today. Twist in the ribbon and add a cute sign. What you're going to need for this project is a 24 inch work wreath, a 21 inch roll of mesh, three ribbons, which you know is my favorite part, and I chose some glitter Christmas sticks that have a little red and a little green on them. First thing you're going to do is lay your work wreath down on the counter to add in the mesh. I think that's easier to work it that way instead of hanging it and putting in the mesh because it's just a little easier to maneuver. So you're going to stand up all the work wreath ties. That way you can see which place you're going to go next with your mesh. Then take your mesh and grab the end. I let it drop to the floor so it's out of my way and I grab the end and gather it. This one's really fun. It's got a black, two shades of green and red stripe in it and it's kind of metallic so it would look good with a lot of stuff. Open up a set of the ties starting in the center ring, lay it in between there and twist it like a bread tie. I like to push it all the way down to the wire frame and twist it and that way I can have lots of extra ties to use when I do my ribbon. Leave anywhere from 8 to 10 inches of mesh, gather it again, lay it in the next tie and twist it. What's nice about mesh is that you can fluff it out and you don't have to measure it or be exact with it because it's got a mind of its own and it will always fill in really nicely. You're going to do this on the whole inner circle. I've filled in the entire center circle. You're going to take your mesh and loop it into the last loop where you had the little end to begin with and I just tuck it under the very last loop in the center ring. I'm going to take it and pull it tightly and just jump down to the next ring, find the nearest set of ties and twist it in there. Now when you do your outer ring, you're going to leave the same amount of mesh and fill it, the whole thing in. You can go bigger with your loops on the outer ring if you want a really large wreath. I typically tend to go the same size. If you were making a snowman or something and you needed to fill in the face, you can always make your loops a little larger in the center. But now I'm just going to fill in the outer ring the same way I did the center ring. Alright, I filled the whole thing in with mesh. Now I'm just going to take the end here and chop it off. and tuck it into one of the loops. On the 24 inch work wreath, I used about nine yards. I have about a yard left here. On the 30 inch wreath, you would use the whole thing. Next, I'm gonna add in this chalkboard ribbon sign. It came in plain like this. They sell for $9.99, it's a really good buy. I took a chalk marker and wrote Merry Christmas y'all on it and I'm going to twist it in. What's nice is it's got holes already on it. I'm going to just take the work wreath tie right through the hole. I'm going to use the outer ties because it's so wide and I'm just going to twist it on there. Take it to the other side twist it on the outside and it looks adorable. Next I'm going to add in these fun guys. I'm going to use the work wreath ties again. Just chop off the stem. And twist them in wherever I need a little fun.
next I'm going to add in ribbon. I'm going to show you three different ways that I put ribbon into a wreath. First, I'm going to loop around with this one. No matter what, I always start with that cute V cut on the end, fold it over, cut it at the diagonal, and then start at any of the ties. I'm going to go right here by the sign, twist that ribbon in, and what's nice about the wired ribbon is it stands up on its own, so I kind of let it do its own thing when I'm looping it in this way. So next, it looks like it kind of wants to go there. I'm just going to find the nearest tie and twist it in. There's no right or wrong way to do it. You can go from the outer ring of ties into the inner ring, but the ribbon just kind of does its own thing, and that's when it tends to look the prettiest. Don't pull it too tight, because then you lose the design. Let it hang out a little bit more in more of a larger loop, and then just twist it in. And that's how we get that really full look. And then I, I like to do loops like this in pieces. So I might go on and cut this one here, and then skip a little bit of room right here by the stem and start up here and that helps save on ribbon costs and ribbon yardage. So I'll just cut another QV cut and twist it in right here and then loop it wherever I think it looks good. Sometimes I loop it in and step back and make sure it looks alright. And I think that's pretty cute so I'm going to keep going. So now I have two loops down at the bottom and I'm going to do one across the top. It's easier to do it in sections like this because then you have a little bit more control over the ribbon and where it goes. way takes about three yards so each one of these loops is a one yard piece so that way you know you can get three yards of the ribbon you want to show up the most all right the next ribbon I chose is an inch and a half wide I went a little smaller because I'm going to add it in in bows around the wreath so what I did is I cut my QV cut and now I'm going to pinch it with a little bit of a tail and I'm going to twist it to make a few loops the reason why we twist our ribbon is so that you always have the pretty side face up and it helps it stand up. So I've made a little bow like this. I'm going to pinch it right in the middle and I'm going to go into my wreath with it. I'm going to go right here on top of where I went with the black and white ribbon and kind of pull it around because the wire lets me do that. And then I'm going to add in one more loop before I chop it off. So I'm going to go to the next set of ties, twist it, and then cut it off. When you do this bow look, it does take a little bit more ribbon, but I'm only going to do a few of them, so it's still only going to take about three or four yards. So again, leave a little tail, make a bow, and just twist it in. The last way I'm going to put in the ribbon is by cutting it into pieces. This is a great way to use your more expensive ribbons because you're putting it into the wreath last so it shows up on top and it doesn't take as much. When I do it this way, I only need about two yards of ribbon. So again, just cut it, pinch it about four inches down, 
Then I go on and twist it in wherever I want a piece. And then cut the other end. Depending on how full you want your wreath, you just go around and add in a cut piece wherever you think you see a little hole or you want a little bit more ribbon. As much as I love ribbon, I love Firefly lights even more. They are battery operated or electric and they are white and all different colors and they come in on a wire so you can add them to almost anything. Now how cute would this wreath be with just a little bit of electricity running through it? All you have to do is take it and wrap it around the work wreath ties because the Firefly lights are on that wire. I chose a hundred count warm white and they're so easy to twist in. You can do this first, you can do this last, you can take the wreath off and do it from behind, just bunch up your lights and push it into those loops if you want it to just glow a little bit more, however you want to put them in. But what's nice is we have them battery operated as well. So you can hang one of these lit up on your front door. Okay, you guys know the drill. Find us on Facebook for more pictures of what we do around here day to day. Look for us on Instagram and check out our Pinterest boards where we pin stuff we plan to make in the store. Also watch more of our YouTube videos and stay tuned for Lori's tour of Christmas this year.